onion and anchovy galette. Sounds very fancy, but it's actually quite simple to make. A galette is essentially a round free form tart. And I'm going to show you how to make the pastry to start with. So you'll need a plain flour. I'm going to be using a soft, low protein flour. This one's fantastic for cakes, biscuits, and of course, flaky pastry, which is what we're after. So I've sifted this flour. So into the bowl, we'll add the flour. To that, I'll add a good pinch of salt and we'll just mix that up with your hands. Make a well in the centre and usually when you're making pastry like a short crust pastry, you would add some butter and we say half the fat to flour. But instead of butter, I'm going to be using sour cream. Sour cream is a really great ingredient to make a flaky pastry. So for this recipe, I need about 200 mils of sour cream and I'm just going to measure that out. This is a 400 mil tub. And then using the back of my spoon, I'm just going to press that sour cream into the flour. So slowly do this and you'll see it just start to come together. If it looks a little dry, you can add a splash of water. If not, keep working it until it forms a nice dough. So I can already tell now that that might need a little water. So I've got some water on standby and we'll just add a tiny splash and that's all you need to bring this together. Once it starts to get a little bit shabby, just like this, we can get our hands in there and knead this dough until it just comes together. The trick to really good dough is not to overwork it. You just want it to come together like it is here. Okay, last little knead. Then I'll grab some extra flour and place it onto a board. And we'll just take out this shabby mixture and then knead it together. See how that's just sticking? That's what we're after. So press this into a disc, quite a thin round disc, and like all good pastry, it needs to rest for at least one hour in the fridge. So I'll just grab some Glad Wrap, cover it up so it doesn't dry in the fridge, and then in it goes. Right, while that pastry is chilling in the fridge, let's get on to the onion. So in a saute pan, I'll add a good glug of olive oil. Two onions, two large onions or three medium onions that are thinly sliced and a good pinch of salt. Just to give it some extra flavour, I love thyme, so a few sprigs of thyme. And then we're just going to wait for that to start sizzling, caramelising. I'll pop the lid on and they need to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're really soft and jammy. Sour cream pastry is looking really good. I've just been rolling it out into a really rough circle because what we're gonna be doing is folding over the side. So before we start filling it, it's a really good idea to roll your pastry onto your rolling pin. Then grab a tray that has some baking paper on it and we'll roll it back onto that. Oh, I love making pastry. There's something very therapeutic about it, particularly when it works this well. Then we'll grab our onions and we're just going to take out the thyme. They've flavoured the onions and this is cooled down. You don't want to be adding this to the pastry when it's really hot because it'll make a soggy base. So just cool them down and once that's been piled up in the centre, we're just going to spread that out to the sides. So we want it to be reasonably thin, about the 24 centimetre disc size. Looks good. Now we get to roughly bring in the sides of the pastry. So just folding it over, crimping it slightly and making a freeform tart. And look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Now we want that pastry to be golden, so one egg, and I'll just separate that egg. We'll just keep that egg white for another purpose, and then into the other bowl with the egg yolk. We'll break that up 
with a pastry brush. And then we just want to lightly brush with the egg wash. You don't want to be too thick. You just want that little crust to go super golden in the oven. And once we've finished this, just to give it some extra special love, I'm going to rain over loads of Parmesan now and then when it comes out of the oven. So a good shaving of fresh Parmesan, especially on that pastry so it sticks onto that egg. This now goes into a hot oven, so 190 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Galette has come out of the oven. It's cooled, it smells amazing. And now to dress it. So we have the onions in there, which are quite sweet. So to counter that, what I like to add is anchovies. Now, I know it's not to some people's taste, but I think these flavours are a match made in heaven. Use really good quality anchovies for this though, because you will taste the difference. So just pop them over the top any way you like. This is very similar to the French tart pisaladier. The difference there is they actually add some olives. So if you don't want the anchovies, what you could do is add some olives. All right, last little anchovy just over here. And to really show off that Parmesan flavour that we have in there, and also it just looks so fantastic. Rain over, loads of extra Parmesan. That is a standout dish. Now, we've done the combination of onions and anchovies, but there's no reason why you can't change the toppings for this as long as you get the pastry right. Try sour cream pastry, it's an absolute winner.